bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation. And this manner of life was adorned by Christ's presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church. The Holy Scripture commends it to be honored by all people. You feel beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, we didn't. Jake, Jake threatened to or something. I don't feel like we were going to the car and Jake like, just ends up in the middle of nowhere. Oh, they're fantastic. Merry little band of chaos. They say they will love, comfort, honor each other until the end of their days. They say they will cherish each other and be faithful to each other always. They say they will do these things not just when they feel like it, but even for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, when they don't feel like it at all. In other words, the vows they make could hardly be more extravagant. They give away their freedom. They take on themselves each other's burdens. They bind their lives together. The question is, what do they get in return? They get each other in return. There will always be the other to talk to, to listen to. There is still someone to get through the night with to wake into the new day beside. If they have children, they can give them, as well as each other, roots and wings. What they've shown us is that they have the same sense of humor, love each other's company, make each other laugh, share the same values around family and friends, and can give each other space to hang out with his buddies or her girlfriends. What they've shown us is love. She fits the oldest child role perfectly, knowing the passwords to everything and every single family member's medical history. I drag her to my doctor appointments so she could answer those questions for me. It is truly so fun to watch Lily grow up and experience these seasons of life that I will soon be in one day. I first met Noah when he started sleeping in my bed. Well, kind of, kind of. His family moved into mine, my old house, and he moved into my old room. Small world, I know, that's Lancaster. The flowers appear upon the earth, the time for singing has come. And the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs and the vines are in blossom. They give forth fragments. Lily and Noah are two kind-hearted, fun, and loving people who deserve nothing but the best. Their kindness and generosity makes loving them both so easy, and I'm honored to be able to call them my friends. I was excited to see where your relationship and journey took you both five years ago, and I'm even more excited to see in another five, ten, and forever. Any shortcomings they may have get rounded out by the other. It's truly amazing to see, and they are the shining example of better together. I think anyone here, whether you're single, in a relationship, engaged, or married, can take a lesson from how these two love and support each other. It flashes, 
are, it, its flashes are flashes of fire, a, a raging flame. But waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If one offered for love all the wealth of one's house, it would be utterly scorched. I've been so excited. I love you as much as a person can. Very odd heart. Forever and all my years. May your love stand strong. May it never fade, for it is as beautiful as the morning sun. Now, the celebration has just begun, and to continue this evening of fun, Let's raise our glasses to the beautiful couple. Cheers to Cheers. Lily and Noah. Cheers! They both still have their lives apart as well as the life together. They both still have their separate ways to find. But a marriage made in heaven is one where a man and a woman become more richly themselves together than the chances are either of them could ever have managed to become alone. <laughs> Who has made a bigger fool of themselves and in is free? Oh, you can do it together. Good, good, good. Who does Rex love the most oh that's a good dog mama all right who is more likely to bring the other person breakfast in bed hey you guys can meet halfway in the middle right all right last question right now who do you love more than anyone else in the world <laughs> hey Lily hey hey self-love is a thing girl it's okay don't be afraid all right, let's give Noah and Lily a round of applause. <laughs>